Hey guys, this is Abel once again and today I want to show you how to take a basic pad and make it sound awesome. So let's just jump into it. Right here I have a, a blank a blank channel. So what we're going to do is go to the ES2 synthesizer. Uh, today I'm going really basic so I'm going to take a, a preset. I'm going to go down here, synth paths, and just pick the choir path. And believe it or not, this is what we're going to work with. Okay, nothing so awesome. Uh, the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is take this little dot and put it right in the middle. To get equal sound from uh, all three oscillators. And then I'm going to turn this down, the cutoff. And then the FM, a little bit. About here. And then a little bit of drive. Sorry, let me turn down the volume a little bit. On the oscillator 3, I'm going to shift it a octave. You hear that it's starting to get a little interesting there uh, you can I'm sure you can use the glide a little bit of glide you can adjust this to your taste let's have it right there and down here, right here, we're going to pick the cutoff 1 and 2. And check out what happens when I touch the mod wheel. So that's all I did in the plugin. Now I'm going to the effects. We can we can add an EQ if you want. I'm just gonna leave that there. Maybe we go back later if we need it. But the effect I use to make this sound awesome is a reverb. Like I mentioned before, this is my favorite reverb in Logic and Main Stage, which is the silver reverb right here. So without the reverb, this is how it sounds, right? <laughs> And the mix, I'm gonna turn it up 90%. And so far, this is what we get. Okay, when when your plugin's off, it, it won't do anything, guys. So, <laughs> uh, on the high cut, I just put this thing all the way up. On the room size. I put it at around 100 right there see that we're almost there and now go here in the reflectivity turn it up at like 52 50 or some some somewhere around that uh, so far this is what we get If you want some some uh, modulation in there, you can just go here and turn this up. I, I'll leave it there. And over here, at around 60. Let's see how it sounds so far. So that's how I get that pad. And now I have a piano right here. Like. So what I will do is like go like this.
and if if this pad is still too bright here I can always go back to the uh, other synthesizer and turn the cutoff down That might that might be too dark, so let's try it with the piano again. Okay, uh, I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, if you appreciate me doing these videos I will please ask you to subscribe, leave a bunch of comments, uh, give me a like, share the video with your friends and uh, I will keep making these videos. By the way, if you see this whole list of sounds, these are all my sounds that I'm, I'll be selling very soon. You will see a link in the description of this video when it's available which is going to be in within a week so that's all for now god bless